<laughs> Alright guys, uh, Whiskey Will here. Sorry, I've been trying to do a, vi a video for this. Uh, I can't fucking do it. Uh, I think it's just because I just got off of work. Uh, it's 1.30 a.m. right now. Um, this is it. I'm stoked about this. I'm so excited. I cannot do a, uh, a video. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, this isn't a review necessarily, this is uh, about some of the mods that I've done. I'm stoked about it, if you guys don't know how to mod, uh, it's simple once like you start to get it. Here, I'm going to take a part one. Uh, this is a, a review, well not necessarily a review, ECF is going to help you mod no matter what. Um, this is a... This right here is my Nico stick. All right, you guys have seen it. I vape with it every day. Uh, I haven't used a regular battery with the LED at the end for a good, I don't know, probably five days. Um, and that's they just don't last that long. And that's what I hate about them is they don't last that long. Um, basically, this is what you have. Alright, you got your push button, you hold that down when you're vaping, and I got this connector from Alt Smoke. it was like two bucks, really cheap. Uh, only complaint I have about the uh, connectors from Alt Smoke is uh, where your positive goes in the center, where the silicone is, they're really small, so it's really hard to solder with it, um, and then put it through the silicone, because the silicone's pretty squishy but there's not that much room down there so you have to remember that one so don't ma don't solder in the middle uh, solder in the center because there's gonna be a hole so just remember that if you get them um, I wish it was longer maybe it came out the end alright so this is basically what uh, all mods are in consist of right here uh, you're gonna have uh, your negative at the bottom well I I'm uh, put it at the bottom because I was using this for a 6 volt mod right here so negative is usually up here positive down here um, it goes through the push button the positive goes through the push button two little sides and then it goes into your uh, your connector simple uh, once you do one you're going to be wanting to do more and play around uh, so that's the basics of a Nico stick. And of course, you need a battery that's going to put out 3.7 volts, unless you have a uh, something else that's in a. I can't think of what they're called. But uh, basically, they put out more power than the battery says that it can. Um. And so today, I was playing around. I got my TI samples and. Uh, they're awesome. Uh, kind of hard to understand at first. Once you know what you're kind of doing, it makes it a lot easier. Um, I was trying to build. This is a a double A box, so or double A uh, holds two batteries. All right, so I put one 3.7 volt battery in here. I bought one with uh, four, and I was trying to make it so I could put two. 3.7 volts and it would equal out to 7.4 volts total and then I'd have my TI sample board or regulator I should say and uh, it would put out 5 volts it's kind of hard I uh, didn't really know what I was doing so I didn't get it finished and I got frustrated and I set it down and maybe tomorrow I'll work on it again because I really want something on the go that can do 5 volts and not spend 120 bucks or you know it's just ridiculous the prices not necessarily meaning they're bad it's just the fact that I don't have that much money right now and I'm not gonna spend it on something that I can make um so hopefully I'll be able to make one sooner or later and today, before I went to work, this is it. Uh, this is my new favorite thing for when I'm at home. I can just sit here. My TV's right in front of me. Obviously, it's right there. Got the Xbox and everything. And I'm on my laptop. And so what I get to do is just sit here and vape. 
while watching with my new 5-volt USB pass-through with the 510 Addy and a momentary push button that is kind of shitty. <laughs> uh, I'll admit it, it's a really cheap push button that I got at Radio Shack uh, with like a pack of five of them or a pack of four or something like that for like two bucks. And I wasn't really thinking because this push button on here is really nice. It's simple, it's kind of big, you can't really miss it. You go like this, or this is how I'm holding it now is with my thumb right here and just vape along with it. But this one, uh, I put it on top, uh, it just made more sense because of the setup inside, and this one's really cheap. I'm kind of bummed out about that, but it works. It gets the job done. Uh, I'm going to make another one, probably for my car or something, and uh, or actually for one of my friends, and then I might make another one for me. But uh, this is simple. You got your wire. This is a really sturdy wire. I got it at like big lots. And uh, you're going to cut open your wire. And on mine it had two USB connectors. And when you cut it open, it had two of these. Alright, and so when you cut it open, you're going to have... Uh, cut it open at the top because you're going to need the room. And then inside you're going to find uh, white, green, red black and what I did was the red and black obviously are positive and negative so I plugged the two white and green and then I took this down and you're gonna have a bunch of extra wires um, I'm not sure what they're for but maybe somebody can tell you and then I use black as negative and this is positive it goes through TI regulator down here and then it goes through the push button, the positive goes through the push button, and then it goes to my alt smoke connector. Pretty simple. And it's amazing. I mean, I uh, soldered this in instead of drilling it in, so it's really snug. It's not going anywhere. I don't have to worry about it ever. I can flick it around the room, and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, the the connector, like I've said before, the only problem that I've had with the Alt Smoke uh, 510 battery connector is the fact that it's really small, uh, and the outside doesn't the the positive uh, inside that's really small will take solder easily, but the outside uh, ground connector doesn't take solder that well, uh, you know. But it does take it. It takes a while for it to take it. Uh, I had to sit there for a minute. I actually burnt my finger. Um, yeah, nice little bubble on there from my soldering iron. Trying to get that solder on there, but that doesn't matter. Um, I want to show you guys the vapor. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's about 1:30, and this is what I vape at 1:30 at night, and that is totally wicked tobacco. Uh, I just got off work, so I've been vaping this all night. Haven't vaped it in here though yet. I'm running out of this shit. All right, let's show you guys the vapor that it puts out, and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Great vapor, five volts, man. It tastes delicious. It brings really brings out some of the ju juice flavors. All right, guys. Um, check it out, mod. If you have questions, fucking let me know. Um, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.